Tap, 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 and give me your driver's license, registration. Listen and closely. If not, you will not be going to work today. Simple thing, man. This is how you guys get killed out here, man. Is registration and what? insurance. Say that again. Ah. Did he just again? threaten what him? Say what you just registration said. Registration and insurance. So you want to give him? Why we get killed? Why we get killed, folks? Okay, okay. Uh, you're gonna be famous, though. You're gonna be famous. Look at him. Got nothing on me. Pull me over and threaten to kick, to shoot me. It's a beautiful day. Threaten to kill neighbor. me. We're going to court. Beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighbor. What does it mean to be compliant? Well, it actually has several different meanings, but many of you guys know that I was a branch manager at Wells Fargo Bank and compliance was one of the hats that I had to wear. My job counted on it. So, consider the following perspective. Regardless how you feel about banking, the method in which it's done is intact. They take what they do very seriously, specifically in regards to compliance. Every T crossed, I dotted, and sent in its place. Balance. If the bank's not in balance, the system fails. And I did. I failed an audit. Worst day of my life, hands down. And though I wasn't fired, I was put on a very stringent plan on how to get out of that. And I did. So compliance is one of my strong suits now. Pushing the conversation forward on this episode of cops responding emotionally, let's talk about compliance. What the cop did here, how he behaved towards the civilian was wrong. And you either see this or you choose not to willfully. It's no longer up for discussion. We have a policing issue in this country. Further, what I see is an American who's being harassed by a police officer, a government agent. A civilian has every right to want to know why he's being pulled over, why he's being spoken to in a manner like that, and, and to record himself, being that police officers are going rogue. The new postal, if you will. Don't hear what I'm not saying. But Spike, make them uncomfortable now. Pushing the conversation forward, I can imagine that the meeting of the minds around Uvalde came because kids were involved. Those cops were in the wrong. We could beat there probably because the kids are our future. The more compliant you are with bad policing, bad policing will become your future. All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. But here's the uncomfortable part. Good cops are never the ones speaking. They're never, they're never the ones saying that we need more training, we need more accountability, we need more anything. How are the cops at Uvalde any different than the good police who do nothing while bad policing ruins their name? Now a moment of silence for those kids.